Hi guys. I'm kind of on a roll with doing videos today. Um, got a lot of cool stuff, like, in the span of a week. So, um, the one thing I wanted to share with you guys was my Christmas present from my sister-in-law and my now brother-in-law. So, congratulations, you guys. I know we've already, ah, you know, said congratulations and everything when you guys visited, but wanted to show you what I got with the gift card that you gave me that I used on Amazon and it is the Star Wars costumes the original trilogy none of that episode one through three nonsense look at that Leia she's like you know you want this book you know you better buy this book you bought this book great so I bought this book and you guys, oh, it's amazing. I know it's a, got a $60 price tag, but I got really lucky on Amazon. And even though there's like a corner that was banged up that kind of makes me grit my teeth a little bit. Um, it was in the cellophane when I got it. It wasn't like re-shrunk wrap or anything. Because I really worry about the binding of books. So like when I order off Amazon from sellers, I'm like... Okay, they said like new. Is it like new or am I gonna open this up and pages are gonna fall out of the binding? Cause I was like really nervous um, because I enjoy making costumes. And this was one of the books that I wanted to add to my collection because they not only show you um, the cloth costumes, but they also show you the helmets, um, anything that's like the 501st legion um kind of background where you go to their tables at conventions and then they show you hey you know this was the prototype for the boba fett helmet and now this is you know what it is painted or we were able to 3d print this and now we can do this um this actually shows you like more of the details of the costumes um like for me like i never knew that leia's um costume that she wears on Endor had crisscross lacing down it like the um, costume for a Treyu in Never Ending Story. I never knew that and I would love, love to have a Never Ending Story costume book as well. So if you guys find one or um, you're in another country and you happen to see one, please let me know um, because I would love to have that book. I'm a sucker for any costume books. I have quite a collection. I have the Harry Potter series costume books. I have the Divergent and I haven't even seen the movie but I just I really like the costumes in the trailer. I have the Hunger Games ones. I have what other costume books do I have? Um, I would love to have the Christopher Nolan Batman series once they're hardbound. Um, right now they're like a weird paperback and they're really thin so they don't go into as much detail as I would prefer so I haven't I don't want to say bothered but I haven't attempted to add those to my collection just yet so this one it comes with a pretty heavy um, dust jacket that is it's folded over so you still have like a lot of dust jacket and I'm one of those weirdos that likes to smell my books <laughs> so it's definitely a brand new book um, and I haven't read through it completely just yet, but I don't know this brocade that's on the inside. I'm not sure what costume that's from. I know it's got to be in the first trilogy because I thought, you know, maybe it was something off of Padme's outfits. So I'll show you guys some of the characters. Obviously, this is Darth Vader, but then when you open up the flap, it gives you more detail on his belt, which if I can get, there we go, move my camera just a tiny bit. Um, it shows you more detail on his um, voice box that is on the front of his chest, and then this of course is his belt. And then it gives you some schematics on and sketches on what he would have looked like um, before they made the final design. Um, changes 
So as you can see here, his mask was very elongated and then um, his side, his costume had a lot more plating to it and then he had kind of like a renaissance um, or like the uh, Shakespeare books that are out that are, uh, there's like the Yoda version, the Darth Vader version and whatever. It was like how they would talk uh, if they were to do Shakespeare. So this kind of has that Shakespearean doublet. Uh, look to Darth Vader. So that's one. And then if I can show you guys, if I can find the other thing that I thought was really cool. Um, but it goes into like all different kinds. Like here's Han Solo. It gives you like a full shot of Han. It gives you like a full shot of Han and then it shows you like his blaster belt which it gives you like a lot of detail because then you can see um, how to put the characters together and like okay here's a good one like the Tuscan Raiders like you can see how much um, like bandages that they used for their mask you see how much leather was used all of the pockets on the bandolier um, even the boots down here like even the boots like you can see like the detail it's like this waxy canvas material which I thought was really cool because I'm one of those sticklers for um, costume uh, accuracy as much as possible and if I can show you guys where's the one that I saw that was really cool that I was like I gotta show you guys this so let me see okay <laughs> Some of you really dig Boba Fett, so we'll do Boba Fett. I'll show you Boba Fett. Okay. So you have a full picture, which my friend would go nuts over because this is the actual costume uh, that Jeremy Bullock wore. And then I don't think this may, may not have a flip out. It may. Let's see if we can be gentle. No, this does not have a flip out. Okay. So then it shows you the back end of the costume which is really cool. And then it shows you all of the uh, gauntlets that were used. And they went through various stages where they were trying to figure out what they were gonna do as far as the gauntlets. So then, oh, here we go. This shows you like some of his battle damaged armor, if I can get this camera to focus correctly. So, and then you open it up and it shows you the various uh, things that they did for the helmets, the preliminary sketches, and the, like, one of my best friend's favorite pictures of Boba Fett. Um, I believe he was going to get that one signed by Jeremy Bullock, but then we decided to do something else. Um, but there are, like, it also tells you, um, industrial lighting and costumes, which I went to school for. Uh, theatrical lighting so um, they didn't really have a costuming uh, class or um, specialty in Lynchburg College when I went I'm sure that will change but um, they give you like old-school pictures like from the 70s and the 80s where they show you um, I think now we're in Return of the Jedi so they should yeah here's the uh, the Princess Leia Boosh costume where they give you like pretty pretty uh like pretty neat um I'm gonna do this a little bit because my camera is like picking up so much light from this book it is printed in glossy paper so um but all the details like I never really paid attention and she actually has spikes on her gauntlets that she wears and she's got uh, rope braiding around her waist and then down here it's kind of like a crinkled uh, broomstick spun uh, gauze at the bottom and I just love these boots I mean can these boots like be made by like I don't know uh, what's the uh, I can't think of the Texas boot company um, it's not I think it's Dingo I think but they might be Australian I think Australian is uh, the Dingo company but they just look like really like high-tech Uggs to me and I think those are really cool um, so then it shows you of course more detail on the boots uh, the boot 
spats anyway, and then it gives you more details on the back of the costume. And then, let's see if I can find this other one that I thought was really cool. Oh, here we go. Here's the one that everyone wants to see, right? <laughs> okay, so this is the Slave Leia uh, costume, and they actually get up close enough with the camera that you can see that this chain had like chain mail links wrapped around it and then this you can definitely tell is um, like not really processed leather it's kind of like a raw suede that's underneath of this and you can even see like the uh, like where the follicles were in in the uh, leather for this and then this of course folds out and you get a full a full mannequin wearing the Leia costume with the boots and the chain and the arm pieces and everything and then as you go through you're of course you get to see the the boots which have a little bit more detail uh, usually I just see how they're like brought to a point on the end with some people's costumes but this one you can actually tell that this was wrapped together and it has a lot of uh, metal brass work on it and then of course her hair um, shell thing that she wears and her earrings a really good picture of her earrings and then it shows you the schematic like measurements for the bracelet how wide the bracelet was how wide the uh, cod piece part to her skirt was and then um, there's like Lando Calrissian's costume when he's on the, the skiff and there's just there's there's tons of skiff guards that you may not even have noticed unless you've watched Star Wars like 80 million times and then they've got Mon Mothma's um, very uh, basic uh, sheath dress which originally they had her looking like a nun which I'm glad they scrapped that idea um, and then there's Lando's like classic uh, outfit and they really do give you a lot uh, to look at as far as how the pieces were made as far as the communicators the belts the pouches um, pins ranking pins um, but you just you guys have to like get this book if you're a cosplayer or if you make costumes not to give the whole book away but you know it's just I mean, even with like the dye process, like how they did that, uh, that's in here. And like all of the colors for the costumes, like this is the color scheme and the fabrics that they use. So they kind of give you little hints. So that is the Star Wars costumes, the original trilogy book. And if you guys have any questions or there's fabrics or costume pieces or what is this made out of or uh, generally, really any questions that I could possibly answer from this book, um, just leave me a comment below and I will definitely scan through the book to try to find that information for you if it's not readily available online. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And as always, if you have any constructive criticism, comments, uh, tips, something that you'd like me to review, whether it's a nerdy thing or something that... Uh, I have to go get or whatever <laughs> um, just let me know or if there's any kind of uh, sewing techniques that you need to see because you've never sewn stretchy fabric before or any any kind of costuming tips that you need or where to source fabrics and things just let me know because uh, I'm pretty thrifty and I use Google Foo a lot to find out things for my costumes and how other people have tried to attempt to make things so uh, just let me know and I hope you guys have a great rest of your evening and I hope that this video was informative and hopefully some of you are gonna go get this book because I'm telling you if you cosplay or you love Star Wars or you have a Star Wars collection or you just um, want to see uh, costume pieces presented in like a museum like a Smithsonian kind of fashion uh, this is a great book to have for that so until next time bye